Or maybe I'll just have two in my collection. It's my collection. I can do what I want. <laughs> Okay, if you hear turkeys <laughs> in the background, that's because there's literally turkeys in my front yard right outside my window, and they keep gobbling really loudly. I don't know if my microphone is picking it up or not, but I just thought that that was kind of funny. Anyway, hi everybody. Welcome back to another uh, subscriber mail opening video. So um, I went and checked my mailbox. I've got a, two new packages, so I'm gonna open these for you today. Now, this one looks like it is from Amazon, so I'm assuming it is from my Amazon wish list. Um, if you're if you want to see my Amazon wish list and like the the dolls and stuff that I have on it I always have those linked in the description for these videos and then this one is from uh, it looks like Chantel I, I hope I'm saying that right I think it's Chantel is how you pronounce it anyway um, but it's coming all the way from Canada so I'm really excited for that too let's just go ahead and start opening these this is I think the first time I've gotten a package this shape so I'm really curious to see what's in here <laughs> can you hear the turkeys oh my god I think you'd probably hear them better if I uh, opened the window, but I don't want to do that. All right. What's that? Oh! Oh, okay. So it looks like it's um, one of the Barbie Pop Reveal dolls. Cute! Oh my gosh, there's slime in the top. Okay, hold on, there's a note in here. I love it when you guys send like a message so I know who it's from. Cause um, when it, if it's from my Amazon wish list, it doesn't say who it's from unless you put it in the note. So it says a gift for you. Hi Chad, I just wanted to say I really enjoy your videos and watch them with my daughter Zoe. Oh, hi Zoe. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I remember you said you wanted this doll in one of your videos. I hope uh, it gets you gets to you in time for your birthday from Jackie. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie. Um, it's a little early for my birthday. In fact, it's actually literally one month, not quite to the day, but almost exactly one month away. So my birthday is the first week of May. Um, so it did get here in time, technically. It's it's a little early um, by one month, but it looks like we got one of the Barbie Pop Reveal dolls. Um, I did have this on my... Um, on my wish list, I wasn't planning on getting any of the, the Pop Reveal dolls just because they were a little bit expensive. I think they were like $29 or something. Um, and I was like, I didn't really want them that bad. <laughs> but um, I did have a couple of them on my uh, wish list um, out of the four. So there was four. I don't remember what the other, I don't remember what these two, what their uh, fruit, what these are, these are all like fruit. Uh, it's literally called the fruit series. <laughs> uh, I, so anyway, they're fruit themed. I don't remember what these two, I think one of them might have been like grape and then blueberry or something. I, I don't know. But um, when I saw pictures of the dolls, I remember seeing the watermelon doll and really liking her. Um, I thought that she was really cute so I actually wanted to get her and I also do really like the strawberry lemonade or whatever like strawberry lemon or whatever which is the Millie it's the Barbie of the uh, the Malibu Barbie <laughs> of the group because uh, you know they always have a Millie in each of these sets but um, I would have been happy with either of those in fact I think I have them both on my wish list but the watermelon one is actually was actually my number one so thank you so much um, this is is really cool. I'm not going to open it in this video, um, especially since there's slime. Like, th look, that slime, that's going to make a mess. Um, and I do not want to make a mess here. I think what I'll do is when I, I'll do a separate review for this. And because there is a slime feature, I do want to do the slime thing. Like I want to play with the slime and everything. I know a lot of people, when they get these, they skip over the slime because they don't want to make a mess. I kind of want to make a mess. <laughs> so I will do a full review on this on my channel, but um, it's going to, uh, I'm going to do it at the table. So that way I, if I make a mess, it's easy enough to clean up or whatever. Cause I don't, I've never played with this kind of slime before. So I have no idea what it's going to... Oh, that's weird. Is that even slime? That literally just straight up looks like liquid. 
Anyway, we'll find out when I do a full review on this. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I forgot your name already. I'm so sorry. Jackie, Jackie and Zoe. Thank you so much, Jackie. And shout out to Zoe and Jackie. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. That's super cute. That's so funny. It comes with a straw, but the straw is like blocked off. So it's not like an actual legit straw. Probably because they don't want you to drink the slime. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I'm going to set this aside and then we'll do this at a later date. Oh my gosh, I just went to the um, flea market earlier today and um, found a couple things. I'm really excited for that. Right now I'm in the process of uh, going through, because I got, if you saw that video already, I got a Barbie case that had like a bunch of vintage Barbie clothing in it. And um, I'm in the process of going through trying to identify it all, um, just because I'm having fun with that. I've already identified a couple things, but um, I still need to film the rest of that video, like the, the haul at the end of that video. Um, which I think that video might be up before this one. I don't know. But anyway, just a little peek behind the curtain so you can kind of see like the order that I do these things with. Anyway, so this is from Chantel. And um, let me go ahead and get this one opened. So it's a Canada Post box. I don't know if there's like a, a way I'm supposed to open this. Oh, maybe I'll do it this way. Hold on. Okay, that goes across there. Okay, here we go. Ooh, wait. Okay, never mind, just kidding. Okay, now here we go. Okay, there's that. Ooh, oh, there's a couple things in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a package in a package. There's also some Coffee Crisp by Nestle. I have never seen this before. Is this a Canadian snack? Uh, a Canadian treat, like ex like specifically. I would love to do a video where I just try like snacks or treats or whatever from other countries, pla other places that just are, aren't available here. Um, I remember when Tim Tams were new and I fell in love with Tim Tams, um, but I'm just kind of at a point, I used to be very picky when it comes to like food, and, or not picky, but like a creature of habit. So like whenever I'd get snacks or candy or order food from a restaurant, I always would get the same thing uh, because you know you find your favorite and you always get that like I said not super picky necessarily just creature of habit um, but recently I've been kind of like I'm, I guess I'm just at a point in my life where I'm opening up to trying a lot of new things when it comes at, at least with food um, you know so I've been like interested to try some of these I've also watched some other youtubers that do that where they like you know somebody who is in the UK tries American candy or treats or cereal or peanut butter and jelly. I didn't realize that peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is not it's like it's it was originally invented in in the United States. I knew that much, but I didn't know that it's not very popular other places or a lot of places just have never done it or thought about it or whatever. Uh, not that they never did. It's just not something that they grew up with. So when they try it for the first time, they're always like, whoa, you know, like that kind of thing. Uh, I love watching those videos on YouTube and I love to make the kind of videos I like to watch. So I would love to do that kind of thing where I try you know, these kind of uh, snacks or treats or whatever that are like only you can only get them in Canada or you can only get them in the UK or whatever. You know, I think that that would be really cool. Anyway, Coffee Crisp. This looks really cute or cute. <laughs> I feel like saying something looks cute is like a go to like a crutch phrase for me. Um, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say this looks good. Um, it's chocolate, coffee flavored. I, I think I'm going to like this. And it's from Nestle. You know, I'm, I'm familiar with Nestle, of course. Um, but yeah, and it looks like there is a second one. So there is two of them in here. Thank you so much, Chantel. I'm definitely looking forward to trying these. So and then there is a package inside a package. Oh, there's a note. Oh, and there's postcards. OK, so we'll, we'll get to the package in a second. Perfect. So here is a note. I probably should have read that first, but that's okay. I want to look at the postcards, though. I love postcards. Okay, so this is the um, Cal the Calgary, Alberta cityscape, it looks like. I love the colors. I love the colors. Like, the sky is like, I feel like this is like evening time, probably. Or it could be early morning. I don't know. But um, the sky is all like pastel pink and blue. And then the city is just this vibrant, like, blue and yellow and orange. And like, it looks so pretty. I love this picture. 
This is really cool. And then this one is, it says, Welcome Buena Vue? I don't know how to pronounce that. Calgary. Uh, and it's just got like different pictures from, I'm assuming, different areas in Calgary or different things. So this is, okay, yeah, yeah. This is another one. I've uh, Somebody has sent me a postcard, not this exact one, but some one that's similar to this before, where it just has different uh, points of interest in the area. So like it's got like a really cool futuristic bridge. You've got some um, people riding horses. It looks like maybe at some kind of rodeo or a show or something. Uh, different historic buildings. You've got that looks like the, the Space Needle or something. <laughs> like one of the really tall tower buildings. Um, a really cool bridge. Oh, a pretty like, there's a Ferris wheel, like a, a fair of some kind and a really cool dome. And I bet you if I read this note, you're probably gonna tell me exactly what's on these. Hold on, let me read through this real quick. I'm not gonna read the whole note because I always stumble through when I try and read this out loud, but let me just read through it one time really quick. And then um, I'll, you know, read the parts that I want to read to you. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm so excited. I just read through this. Uh, let me go through it really quick. So it says, hi Chad, my name is Chantel. Goofy Boothy on YouTube. Hi Goofy Boothy. <laughs> I love your name. I love saying your name whenever you pop into the live streams. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Anyway, so now I know your name is Chantel. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, okay. So I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Started watching your channel last year and have really enjoyed your content. Uh, you are really funny and do a great job reviewing dolls. I especially love the thrift and vintage store shopping vlogs. Those, I think a lot of people share that. Um, they, they really enjoy the uh, like the doll hunting and the, the vintage doll hunting and the uh, especially thrift stores and um, you know going to the flea market and stuff like that. People seem to really like those videos and I love doing them. So I'm glad that you guys like watching them because those are some of my favorite videos to make even though I don't do them that often. Um, I just feel like if I go every weekend, I'm gonna see probably the same stuff and I won't always find new stuff. So that's why I don't go as often. But Anyway, um, so it says, I, I got the, those kind of stores in my area as well. I believe we are around the same age. I am 38. Yes, we are around the same, we are, uh, we are the same age. So anyway, um, I started collecting my G1 My Little Pony last year. Um, this is my main focus right now. So <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, I love all your pony content. I just recently got Tic-Tac-Toe. Tic-Tac-Toe, my favorite, or one of one of my favorite um, right here. This is Tic-Tac-Toe. I Because Tic-Tac-Toe is one of my favorite ponies, I always have her out uh, near me, uh, like either on display on my desk or next to me, usually in the background of my videos and stuff like that. But anyway, haven't gotten Mimic yet. Can't believe how expensive she is. Yeah, my, Mimic is another one that I have out. This is my one of my other favorite My Little Ponies of all time. Uh, the only reason I have this is because of um, some of my other subscribers, two sisters, uh, bought this for me and sent it to me. And it, it was a very emotional video, which if you want to see that video, I will put a link to it uh, up there. She's going to point to it. Uh, she put a link up there. So if you want to go see the video where I got this, it was a very emotional video. So just a heads up. If you don't feel like crying today, don't watch that video. But anyway, yeah, you can go see that. But yeah, Mimic is incredibly expensive and I never thought that I would own her again because I had one when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, it, she's really expensive, really sought after in the collecting community. So if you see her on, on eBay, she's always gonna be a really high price. Anyway, I have a lot of favorite ponies, so it's hard to pick one completely fair. Um, I was going to a local antique store in my area, kept finding Spice Girls dolls, and uh, didn't know which ones you had or wanted. Then you made your video about your collection. So they, so um, Chantel basically goes on to say that she found these dolls in uh, her local antique store, and she's pretty sure that I don't already have the ones that she ended up sending me, and that I can customize any of the ones or, you know, do whatever basically with any of, if they're doubles or whatever. Uh, and then she says, thank you for making such fun content. It helps me get through life. Oh, uh, at times I have the videos to look forward to sending you all the best. Uh, I hope you like the dolls. Chantel, Chantel, thank you so much. Um, also it says PS, uh, the coffee crisp chocolate bars are something we have here that are not in the States, I believe. So I thought you'd like to try them. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you for that. And I am so excited. There's Spice Girls dolls in here. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm really excited and it's heavy. So it feels like there's a bunch of them. So, oh my gosh. Okay, I uh, I always never know. I like I start to get like speechless, but then I never stop talking. So I don't know if speechless is the right word, but I'm just really excited. 
It's more like I just don't know what to say. Okay, I need to pay attention. Hold. Please hold, I need to be careful. I'm messing with scissors. I need to open the package. There we go. Okay, I had to pay attention <laughs> when I'm using scissors, especially because I don't want to uh, accidentally like cut anything that's in the package or anything. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I just, I'm really excited. Okay. So I'm not even going to look. I am just going to start grabbing dolls. What is the first? Oh wait, are they all connected? Never mind. They're all connected in this one bag on the inside. Okay. Let me just pull this out. Yep. It's all one bag. Oh, oh my God. Shut up. Oh geez. Victoria is flashing the camera right there, girl. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. So this is all one set. Um, there is only one duplicate and it is this Mel C right here, the Sporty Spice. I do have her. So that was actually one of the new ones that I got in the Spice Girls collection video that I told you about, but that is totally fine. Oh my gosh, the rest is, so so all of the, this is one complete set of Spice Girls dolls. And um, hold on, I need to look up, I always forget the names of the sets because they're all very similar. They're all like Spice It Up or Girl Power or On Tour or On Stage or whatever, you know, like they have. Uh, so let me, I wanna look this up really quick. Okay, so this set is from the Concert Collection. It is the entire set of the Concert Collection dolls. So, and they are actually wearing outfits that they wore on stage during one of their concerts, one of their tours maybe. I don't remember which one, but I'll put up a picture on, I'll put on the screen now so you know which one I'm talking about. Um, but they are wearing the outfits from that particular performance. Hold on, let me open this up because this bag is probably really loud on the microphone. Oh my gosh, okay, so. I'm gonna have to get my other one out. I don't know if if it's from the same, cause this they have like this articulated waist. Um, and I, I don't remember, I, maybe the one that I had did as well. Um, but these are made by Galoob. They have the snaps instead of Velcro. And these snaps are not in the greatest condition, but that's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to look at, um, since now I have two of this particular Mel C, I'm just gonna have to look at both of them and see which one I ha is in better condition. And that'll be the one that um, I have like in my collection and the other one I might customize or something, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just have two in my collection. It's my collection, I can do what I want. <laughs> anyway, so um, this is Mel C, also known as Sporty Spice and she's in her bright red. The uh, This concert collection, basically this uh, performance, they were all, you know, a lot of times the Spice Girls, when they perform live uh, or in their tours, when they do certain segments, they will dress similar but different because they all, their whole, shtick was that they're all individuals you know that's why they have their different names like sporty baby scary posh ginger um but they're all individuals they're all different and unique um you know and and they're able to get along and support each other but they're different so like they have their unique style but they will pick a theme so they all wear something to go to go with it the theme for this one is pretty much metallic or reflective like shininess <laughs> so um i'm not exactly sure what it was but basically that's that's what it looked like i like the hand mold for these um i just have to say sometimes the hand mold for some of these dolls is not the greatest uh it looks kind of weird but like this one is actually very like delicate and uh, i actually kind of really like the hand mold I know it's a really weird thing to point out, um, but anyway, and these dolls had a little bit of extra articulation. So, um, you know, they have the movement at the head, movement at the waist, which is interesting, shoulder, and then there's like a twist at the elbow. Um, so they had a little bit more posability. They can sit down, like their legs go up, but it doesn't, I don't think their legs go out at all. I think it's just forward and backward, but they do have like the bend and snap knees. So um, anyway, so this is the Sporty Spice. Next up, and they all have their shoes. I'm so excited that they actually have their shoes, their outfits. Um, I don't even care that they don't have like their microphones. I actually have Barbie microphones that are like black or silver or whatever that I could 
if I wanted to, to display them. Um, but anyway, so here is the Scary Spice, also known as Melanie B or Mel B. So she is so pretty. I, the one thing I love about this set, um, I don't know if this was like the international version or whatever, but it's slightly different than the... Um, ones that I saw in stores and they used a different face mold and to me it's kind of prettier. I actually like these dolls better than the ones that I saw in my local Toys R Us uh, if I'm being honest. But anyway, so um, Mel B wore this like see-through mesh outfit that had rhinestones all over it for the reflective part and then her the oh they each had a different color by the way so sporty was red scary was orange ginger was wearing green you know baby was wearing blue and posh was wearing gold so um that was another another thing is they each had a specific color that they dressed in um but yeah <clears throat> i do remember uh scary spice wearing this outfit or you know like a human sized version obviously is a little bit different than this this one just has like glitter spots everywhere everywhere but it looks really cool uh, and then she has these boots which are the same mold as her previous boots or that other releases of the scary spice dolls had uh, but just in this kind of like actually kind of looks like a rose gold color I would say it kind of looks like a bronze or a copper like whatever it could be bronze but it almost looks rose gold or something um, anyway oh so next up, this is Ginger. Since I grabbed her out, I might as well look at her next. She actually does have a microphone. So she's got her little her little microphone there, which is awesome. I mean, since it's the Spice Girls and they are singers, um, you know, they came with accessories like that. Oh, I love her little dress. So and then she did wear something like this on the, uh, you know, for this performance. Um, once again, I like these face molds. They still look kind of strange. Like sometimes some of these dolls can look a little uncanny valley. So like I know why some people criticize celebrity dolls in general. Like I did a whole live stream with Enzo. We talked about uh, celebrity dolls and several other people have talked about celebrity dolls. Um, and I know some people like don't like the Spice Girls dolls or it's not that they don't like them but they call them ugly and stuff like that I like them I actually think that they are much better than a lot of other celebrity dolls like I mean this doll is very pretty like anyway um this one it just kind of looks like her head's a little squished so I might have to like give her a boil wash or you know dunk her head in boiling water for the plastic or the you know the vinyl to kind of go back to the correct shape um but I don't know <laughs> it kind of looks like she's going You know? Anyway, um, yeah, compared to the, the other face mold. So maybe Ginger, I prefer the other face mold just a little bit more. Um, I just realized that they actually have like clavicle, like <laughs> they have collarbones uh, molded into the, the plastic. That's really interesting. Um, I, I like these shoes as well. Once again, this is a, I think this might be a mold that they've used several times for the different Spice Girls dolls. This one just happens to be a light green with glitter on it. So that way it um, matches her dress. So um, next up is Baby Spice. I'm really excited for her. So she has her, her necklace that says baby on it. Um, this is interesting because it's actually the same outfit as Sporty, except with sleeves. Like Sporty has no sleeves and, and she has sleeves. But anyway, so her color is blue. Um, whereas, you know, like I said, each of them have a different color or whatever. Um, normally her hair is up in pigtails. And I think for this performance, her hair was actually in buns instead of... Um, full on pigtails. So that's why her hair is like this. I love it for accuracy and it looks cute. Uh, the only thing is if you take the hair down out of this, her hair is really, really thin and it's really short um, because if it's too much hair and they tried to make this style, the buns would be too unrealistically big. So, um, you know, like it's meant to not take down the hair, which is kind of sad because for me, dolls are about hair play. So I prefer, I keep hearing those, those uh, turkeys out there. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, um, but I, I do like it for accuracy, but, um, you know, it's kind of sad. There's no hair play element for this particular doll, but that's okay. Uh, also, each of the dolls have their Spice Girls ring. That was a thing that all the, the Spice Girls had. Oh, and um, Mel B, 
has her Spice Girls ring, but she also had a thumb ring painted on. So the, Spi the Spice Girls ring, it's literally the ring that they had on the cover of their first album. Because apparently once they like decided on a name, um, I don't remember who it was, if it was Ginger or anyway, one of the girls went out and got five rings made and brought it back. So they each have a Spice Girls ring in real life. Um, and that was, a, I saw that in one, I, I've watched so many documentaries on the Spice Girls because I'm just like, like such a huge fan of theirs. So there's a lot of trivia that I happen to know. I'm not an expert, but I happen to know a lot of those random facts. And that it just reminded me of that. But anyway, they have like an actual ring there. And then the thumb ring is just painted on. Um, but I love that detail because she did also wear a thumb ring. She would also wear the little uh, metal serpent or snake like bracelet around her upper arm on the left arm and some of her dolls have that um, also at one point Mel B started wearing glasses and some of her dolls have glasses as well um, with Baby Spice, she has her baby necklace that she wore often. It's literally just a necklace that says baby. Um, so a lot of her dolls have that. Most of her dolls have that. Um, and then her shoes are, um, once again, they're reused molds. Most of her Baby Spice's dolls have these exact shoes. Um, the only difference is these ones are a blue glitter color to match with the rest of the outfit. And then last but not least, we have Miss Posh Spice Victoria Beckham. Hold on, we need a little bit of modesty. This is a family-friendly channel. Oh no, <laughs> okay, well, let me just do this. The, the, I don't know if you could see it, but the uh, little button tab thing, that is, it's broken. So I won't be able to actually close her outfit, but I might be able to fix that. Um, I, I think I can get snaps from like Joanne's Fabric or the, the craft store or something, and then just sew on new ones. I don't know if I can get plastic ones necessarily, but um, yeah, I can probably replace that so that way the outfit can be closed. Or if I can find a new one, this outfit is very, very worn down. She was very much played with and loved. Um, and the doll's fine. I can clean up the doll. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to clean the doll. <laughs> um, but, I, you know, she she was definitely played with. Um you know, and she, she's gotten a lot of love, which is totally fine. I'll just clean her up and then see if I can either repair this outfit or like if I can find a replacement at the thrift store or uh, on eBay or something, because then I can get a replacement for her uh, outfit so she can, you know, look at as good condition as the rest of these. I'm going to have to clean up all of them. I always do that for any of the secondhand dolls that I get. I, I clean them up and everything. But um, her face, hold on. Okay. I've been trying to like close this so that way I can show her up close uh, so she's not flashing you but anyway so there's her face I do like this face mold I when it comes to Victoria I'm kind of like impartial I, I, I like this face mold and I like the older face mold so it doesn't really matter to me the others I kind of prefer like Mel B and Mel C in particular um, I like the face mold from this set better than the other ones but um, you can see she's definitely a little dirty I am gonna have to clean her up which is totally fine. Um, and then this is when she has the shorter haircut and everything. Uh, she also has her cross necklace because uh, Victoria Beckham wore that cross necklace for a long time. Um, she also has her uh, bracelets. So she's got a silver, or this is a watch, sorry, the si silver watch, a diamond wedding ring there. I think that's her engagement ring. Um, she has a gold watch on, or sorry, gold bracelet on this side. And then she does also have her Spice Girls ring on her right hand. So it's a little far down. Wow. <laughs> this one has a little bit of an, not an error necessarily, but the, you know, like where they plugged in the ring, it's a little down on her finger. It's supposed to be up closer to her hand, but that's okay. Her shoes are also kind of like a, um, a slightly Re retailered version of the shoes that her other doll had as well. Um, you know, it's it's almost the same mold. It's a little different because these dolls, their their toes aren't as pointed, um, so the heels aren't as high for this particular shoe. But it is very similar to other Posh Spice shoes that we have seen. But uh, oh my gosh, I am so excited to have some more Spice Girls dolls in my collection. I'm gonna have to like find a way to display these. I need to find 
find like a uh, a shelf or something, you know, make space for my Spice Girls doll collection because as of right now, I have them, but they're like very neatly kind of uh, put together in a storage box at the moment because um, I am in the process of like moving a bunch of stuff around when it comes to my collection anyway. But thank you so much, Chantel. I'm so excited to have these. I You definitely know me well and I'm happy to enjoy my videos and um, it's nice, you know, since you saw that video, I'm kind of glad I made that collection video now so you knew that I didn't already have these. So th that's so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I really like this set and I'm really excited for it. And then of course, Jackie and Zoe, thank you so much for my Barbie pop reveal. Um, I can't wait to get into this and make a mess with the slime. Don't know when that's going to be. I have a lot of videos lined up that I'm currently working on, so it might be a little while before I get to this one. Um, but I will be doing this review uh, later on. I will be doing a um, unboxing and full review separate video for that one. Anyway, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You guys spoil me so much and I, I am genuinely grateful. I really, really appreciate that you guys watch my videos. You're, the, the notes that you send me are so sweet and like they make me feel so happy and I keep all of them. I have um, one of one of you sent me a bag that you made like a canvas bag. I don't, I don't know where it is. It was back over here. But I ended up I, like I, I use that bag to keep all of my letters, all of the postcards that you guys send me. I still have all of them and I really appreciate you guys sending me stuff like you do not have to send me anything um, like I, I genuinely appreciate the gesture. J what gesture? Whatever, I appreciate it. <laughs> Whatever the words are I'm trying to say, that, that put that there. No, um, I, I definitely appreciate all of you just for watching. Um, obviously, if you do ever want to send me any mail, um, even if you just would like to send me a postcard from your hometown or something like that, I always leave my shipping address in the description of these videos so that way you can find it easily. Um, but yeah, I, I really appreciate all of you and everybody, like even if you didn't send me anything just for watching this, I think you so much. I really appreciate you for sticking around to the end of the video and hanging out while I opened some some boxes, opened some doll mail. <laughs> so um, I do need to get going because I have a couple other videos that I want to get filmed today and I want to try and get those done before I you know run out of sunlight. But thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get going for right now. Um, I'll probably try one of these later on. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. So thanks again so much for watching and I hope I see you all next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.